Yo, what's up guys? Okay, so before we start this video, I got a quick rant that I wanna just share with you guys. I normally don't do these kind of things, especially for my toy hunt videos, but it's something that is very relevant and I just need to share it with you guys. So very recently I picked up a Iron Man What If Zombie Marvel Legend. And one of the features of it is you can pop and swap parts like the hand pegs and stuff. And mine, it actually broke. And something you can do, you can actually send an email off to Hasbro's customer service and they can actually replace it for you if it's in stock. And if it's not, they will actually send you something back with equal value or not or something like that. So I did that. I followed the steps. I sent something, especially if you recently purchased it, I sent them an email and I gave them my age. I gave them, you know, what happened, like, you know, my address, yada, yada, yada. And I didn't think much of it. I actually received this item and I want to show you guys what they replaced my Marvel legend with. So, Hold on. Okay, you guys ready? You guys already see this? Hasbro, are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. What up guys? Welcome to another toy hunt video. It is 44 degrees, pretty cold out in the city of Chicago. <gasps> Man guys, it's dark, it's December, and we're here, another toy hunt. Oh my gosh, guys. So I decided I want to start this off. I thought I was going to be done. Uh, I thought I was just going to be done recording for the rest of the year. You know, it's been it's been an interesting year, guys. 2022 for my channel. It's been the year of growth and discovery, I guess. You know, I mean, if you've been following me this year, I mean, it's crazy, guys. We grew a lot. We've gone to a ton of conventions it has just been insane. We got a new toy room. We've accomplished a lot. And I think I'm gonna talk about this later in the video. We got a lot of stuff coming in the mail. We got stuff coming in from Four Horsemen. So excited about that. We got some stuff coming from Empire Toy Shop. We got Mythic Legion things coming in guys. And the holidays are around the corner. Also, I know that the new Lego minifigures are gonna be hitting up Kohl's soon. Pretty early, the new minifigures. I'm specifically looking for the orcs. So I'm hoping within the next like couple of weeks that it comes out early. So if it does, I will include those hunts in this video because guys, I need to look for like 20, 30 orcs. I need a ton of them. So I'm linking all those pictures here so you guys know what I'm looking for. But, anyways, guys, make sure you do drop a like, it does help promote the channel. And make sure you subbed if you're new. Okay, guys, we'll catch you in a bit. Okay, guys, we're here. Uh, first night, I'm gonna turn the camera up. But first stop of day one, we're going to Best Buy. And I actually lied, I'm looking for Axe Wolves Black Series. So let's see what we can get. Okay, well, I already see it's pretty packed here. But we'll start off looking at some holiday stuff. Got R2. But let's make our way here. We got Lego. Lots, lots, lots of Lego. Star Wars stuff that is going on sale. $27 for that set. Way overpriced. We got some DC here. We got Deathstroke. Not Superman. Got Joker. Uh, we got the Infinity Gauntlet. $131. Ooh. So we also got Banshee here. It's pretty nice. Let's see. Oh, we got some Black Series up here. What do we got? Uh, we got Bays. Bays. Leia. Clients. Dr. Evazan. We got Moff Gideon here. We got tons of legends. Oh, look at that. Our boy Wong. $18. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, we got Dark Troopers here. 30 bucks for Boy Obi-Wan. We also got Iron Man, Naruto. And what do we got down here? Black Panthers. Oh, I saw that movie finally. That was good. And we also got a Iron Spider. Spider armor, whatever. Okay, and then we got Funko up here. Wow, someone's blasting music. Okay. Sheesh. Um, <laughs> what do we got here? Conjuring. 
Oh my god. Terrifying. That movie is scary. Um, Alright, Funko. Then Pokemon cards. Alright, looks like that's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, uh, just left Best Buy. Uh, there was a lot of stuff there, but nothing we're looking for. There's a Ross here, but I'm not looking for anything there particular, so... Um, usually what they have at Ross's are things that didn't sell at Walmarts and Targets for the last year, so not interested in any of those. But we're gonna go to Target real quick, see what we can find. Okay, okay, stop number two, Target, Howard, Evanston. Let's see what they got here. Stranger Things, we got Star Trek. Gremlins. I've been seeing people post it. Look at this guy's eye. Looking a little crazy here. But I've been seeing a lot of people uh, posting pictures of these on Instagram. Pretty cool. Uh, speaking of Instagram, if you're not following me, give me a follow. At Nolan Ducklex, I post a lot of these hunts live. If I find anything interesting, you know. We got what we got here. Advent calendar. Those are probably gonna go on sale very soon because it is December. We got a slave one here. <clears throat> oh, look at this, Miles. That's cool. Let's take a closer look. That's pretty sweet. I'll post that. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do I got here? Ninja Turtles. Even though I haven't been hunting for a minute. Uh, kind of looks like the usual stuff. <clears throat> Jeez, I gotta clear my throat. Um, sabotage. So these reactions, I saw that they're doing The Office and I'm definitely gonna grab all of them. <laughs> Super 7, let's go. I'm excited about that. Well, we got BTS over here. Yikes, BTS pops, what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Yikes Aroni. J Hope. Jin. Oh my god. Um, oh wow, we got Viserius here. That's kind of cool. I mean, like, I'm not into the Funko, but I love seeing cool characters. We got a flash here. That's cool. Coral Coralies. Coralis. Man, I can't wait for the new season. And that's gonna be like two years from now. 2024. Ugh. This show is so good. They are on point with that. Got Spawn down here. We got Palpatine. Um, is there anything else? Okay. Well, let's go look at the toy aisle. But I am going to post all this stuff on the Instagram at Nolan.Collects. Okay, well, I decided to stop by a little NECA section. And they just got a ton of these Imperial officers. And I'm wondering if you can move the helm piece down the goggles to make them like army builders in the background that's pretty cool not a fan of it personally but uh, hopefully we can find axe wolves <clears throat> wow i gotta clear my throat guys <clears throat> <clears throat> okay sorry um rat king it's cool we got a bunch of NECA bags here and nothing really over here Turn around real quick, see if there's anything. Oh, we got a Ferrari. A Ferrari just hanging out here. Uh, Minecraft. Mario, Super Mario. That's pretty cool, that Sonic Hedgehog right there. Oh, look at this. Minecraft. I actually really enjoy Minecraft. I don't play it <clears throat> anymore. But, yeah, I played hours of that. Halo. Minecraft's fun. Okay, let's go check the other side. Okay, we're gonna start off on this side. Let's see what they got. They got some other stuff here. More pops. They got a bunch of little NECA sections everywhere. Let's see what you got for Star Wars. What you got for me? We got a bunch of dark troopers. We got some typical friends here. Let's see. Obi-Wan's, Vader's. Wow. We got C3PO. Obi-Wan. Oh, there's a ton of stuff here. Oh, we got Mando. Holiday Mando. We got Axe Wolves there, but not the one I'm looking for. I'm still on the fence on this figure, to be honest with you guys. 
like I said, I'm pretty being, I'm being, I'm being pretty selective right now. <clears throat> Whoa, Lordy, my throat. Um, looks like if you spend 100, you get 25 bucks off. Spend 50, 10 bucks off. Uh, nothing else here. These Avatar figures are looking good. I'm loving that. Looks cool, but not for us. Uh, let's see, Buzz Lightyear. We got the usual stuff. Pixar. Those fi those figures look good. Buy two, get one free right now. Wow, great stuff. Uh, Dress World. The usual. Okay. Uh, let's see what do we got for Transformers. Transformers, not much. We got Galvatron right here. Let's go. Cool. Oh, we got Black Ranger. What the heck is that doing here? I feel like you don't see that often. Was this opened? No. What the heck? That's cool. That is awesome. So speaking of Power Rangers, I did pre-order the Green Ranger. First in peace, Tommy. I mean, I grew up watching Power Rangers, you know. My cousins and I, we all <clears throat> we all were Power Rangers growing up, you know. I was like, I think I was the Black or Blue Ranger. I can't remember. You know? Oh, look at this. Captain Cold. That's kind of cool. Alright. What else we got here? What is this? Flash? Look at that flash. These guys look kind of crazy. Uh, no Joes yet. I haven't seen any new ones yet. Alright, what do you got here? Got Everett. Wakanda Forever Black Panther. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Then we got some Thors. Alrighty, well, I guess that's it for here. We're gonna go to one more stop. I'm gonna make one more pit stop, and then that's gonna be it for tonight. But we will continue this hunt again. Um, if you're enjoying these hunts, just drop a like. It does help me out. Um, but anyway, oh look at this. This Optimus looks cool. Have you guys seen the uh, trailer for the new Beast Wars? Oh my gosh, guys, I am so freaking hype about that. Man, like I said, I grew up with Beast Wars, so I'm really excited. And I think I might have to grab some figures from that line. Because that's going to be just way too cool. But yeah, I'm going to post all these on the Instagram. And uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're here at Cole's last stop for the night. Let's go test our luck. It's pretty early, so I don't know if they'll have it yet, but you know, you never know. We gotta start checking now, so see you inside. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we got here. We got some new Lego, or not Lego, but we got some Lego here. We got this. I was actually just watching, re-watching that movie. They're actually, sets retiring. That's cool. Namor, or sorry, Namor. Promised I wouldn't say that name incorrectly. Any my uh, what do we got here? Jurassic World, not much here. Uh, I'm kind of circling, circling first, but all right, let's see. Um, at a glance, not seeing it yet, not seeing them. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to check back later because right now, no luck, just kind of scanning. Sorry if I'm moving fast. But we'll be getting out of here in a minute. Got new Pokemon stuff. It's cool. Pokemon. Buzz Lightyear. Oh, 50% off stuff right now. Wow, look at that. It's pretty good. Get a good deal on this thing. Some fodder. The background. Uh, okay. Oh, this is cool. That was kind of cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, okay guys, it's actually a few days later. We are now here at Target on my lunch break. So, look at this guys, I'm just checking here the NECA section. We got the old man from A Christmas Story. That's kind of cool. Uh, seeing what else is new, music is blasting, so I'm gonna try to talk over it. Look at this, we got Namora from Wakanda Forever. We also got some more pops here. Martian Manhunter, looks cool. Yeah, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern. Wow, those look good. We got Aquaman here, let's take a look at that. Wow, let's see. Look at that. Oh, these look pretty good. Green Lantern, let's take a look at you. 
Oh, looks good. We also got the Flash. We got Batman. Wow. That's cool. We also got my boy, Namor. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've never seen this before. What is this? Advent calendar? Oh, socks. But that's cool. Um, I'll post those on the Instagram in a second. Uh, we got some Ninja Turtles up here. And that's about it. Oh, we got Ben Kenobi. Kenobi, that was cool. Look at that purple. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Let's uh, let's go check out the toy aisle. Okay, 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 guys. This is like Inception. This is Inception. You're not listening to me talk, guys. This is Marvel Ranger. Vic, he's back, guys. I am blown away because he has inspired me, guys. Like my first... I started this YouTube channel because of this guy. So check him out. I'm linking him right below. It's a Thursday or Wednesday night right now. I'm going to continue the hunt on this video. But I just had to give you a quick shout out, my dude. This is crazy seeing you, man. Welcome back, man. There you go. Okay, so that was crazy seeing Marvel Ranger. I need to finish that video. But before we do that, guys, I got a couple of packages here. So two of these are from the four horsemen so i'm gonna open that shortly but i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm not entirely sure what's in this box so if there is a toy i will show it on screen if it's a gift for my wife then i'm obviously not gonna show it so uh let's go see what's inside this thing Ooh, guys i was dying from that but i'm definitely gonna reach out to marvel or sorry i'm gonna reach out to hasbro about that but whoo okay uh <laughs> I'm gonna open these things up and if you're a Four Horsemen fan, you probably know what this is So I'm gonna show you Okie dokie. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff right here where you can probably see a little peek here Father Christmas, so we got some cards uh, So if you've been following me on Instagram, there we go the Four Horsemen released uh, Figura Obscura and that happened to be what we have in here. So I was lucky. I got an all-in package. So I grabbed one of everything at a pretty discounted price. Let me uh there, let me let me try to take this out. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so wrapped in here is a mug, which I'll take out in a few. But this is the guy. Oh, oh actually, right here. Before I forget. Almost missed this thing right here, but here we go. We got a Father Christmas pin, so that's cool. So we got the cards, and then we get the mug. Put this down. Ugh. Boom, here we go, guys. Father Christmas, so another figure to add to the Figura Obscura line. So we got the original Krampus right there. We got the Headless Horseman, and now we got Father Christmas. So. I got two of them right here because I wanted to keep one sealed. But yeah, I'll be opening this up probably tomorrow because, guys, I got something else that is coming in and it's going to go well with this figure. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right. And just so you guys can see everything, and I totally forgot to show this to you, but we got the mug over here. So pretty cool. I know a lot of people that are collecting like all ins with the figure obscure line so that comes with also a pin over here and then we also get a pretty cool card which is cool to display sorry dogs are playing with stuff in the back and then here we go we got r2 right here so empire toy shops you're freaking amazing look at this guys package fragile all over you gotta love it all right so i'm gonna open this bad boy up and i'm gonna show you guys what i got oh nelly okay so i gotta give props to freaking Empire Toy Shop because they had this in stock, guys. So we finally got it. We got the Red Krampus, but guys, we didn't just get one. No. Oh, snap. Look at this, guys. We got another. But wait, there's more. Oh, my God. We got three of them. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's fix that. Oh, snap. Look at that. Oh my god, we got three Krampuses, we got three Krampi, whatever you want to call it, but I got three for a reason. So, 
I'm going to keep one sealed because I want to keep it up top there. So we got that. I'm going to use two. So one I'm going to open up and just use it as a Krampus. The other one I plan to use with the Panther body, wherever it is. I know it's not an exact match according to some people, but it's all good. It works. I wanted this. Shout out to Empire Toy Shop. I'm giving them a huge shout out right here because they had them in stock. I pr originally pre-ordered these on Big Bad Toy Store, but they were still waiting for these. And I saw uh, Milo, he had these in stock. So thanks again, man. This is freaking awesome. I love it. Love the holiday figures. Let's actually put them all together. You ever seen something so beautiful in your life? We got a figure of Obscura Tree. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Oh snap, love that. So we got the original Krampus up here. I got to holler at my boy, Craig Holland at Legion's Con. He's in the Cabal. He hooked me up with this. So thank you, Craig. Uh, thank you, Craig. I do need to get one more because I'm going to open that. But I'm keeping one of these sealed now because, yeah, I want to have sealed figures. These three I plan to open. I do plan to open that one actually as well. And then I got my Headless Horseman. So currently, guys, I have the whole Figura Obscura line. So I'm pretty hype about that. But pretty cool to have him. And I actually got him at the retail price. I did not pay a single penny more than I needed to. And one last update. Hasbro, actually, they're sending me another replacement. So I know I had that rant in the beginning. But, you know, I, we'll see. Okay guys, so before I forget, it was actually my birthday on November 30th, so one thing my wife got me was this thing. So, pretty cool. Let me turn this camera around. So she got me this, guys. She got me a Lego castle right over here, the three in one. So you have the potential to build, oh, let me not knock this down. I got all the bags open right now because I was working on it right here. But you got the potential to build a market, a castle itself, or the tower. So. I think my plan is, is I'm going to build this Black Falcon Castle first, but what I will probably do is when I hunt, is when I hunt all these orcs, like 30 of them or 20 of them, I don't know how many I'm going to hunt, I'm going to hunt a ton of them, I'm actually going to convert this castle into the orc castle and it's going to verse this one. So we'll create a pretty cool medieval scene. I want a bunch of orcs surrounding that castle and then unloading out of this castle. So. I'm going to change a lot of the pieces red, broken down, put some maybe horns in it. I don't know, skeletons? I don't know. I will probably do one video specifically to hunt those. So stay tuned to that in the meantime. But uh, I also plan to open these figures and I actually might do that tonight because, yeah, I don't know. I got a lot of toys I want to play with and I want to show them off too. And yeah. Yo, what's up guys? Okay, so it's actually Friday today and yesterday I just opened up the Santa Claus figure and the Krampus. So I'm gonna actually play with those and I wanna show you guys like my mini little review on him and what I think about it. I personally like the line. I like the figure Obscura because you know, it's just fun. But I wanna show you guys a couple of things real quick, just little room updates. Like I said, I will do a full grand tour once everything is set in stone. Uh, it isn't the way I want it right now. So like I gotta, I still gotta put like artwork up and the lighting stuff, lights coming in this weekend. But yeah, I'll be doing all that off camera, but you guys will see a final tour. But let me show you this corner real quick. So I just wanna show this off. The lighting kinda of sucks, but here's my Ultraman versus some of the kaiju so i actually need like two more and then i'll have the full set but i'm really happy with this ultraman this thing is honestly really sick and a lot of you guys were messaging me on instagram when i posted that saying you really like this figure and i highly recommend it i really like this action figure uh this uh this thing over here is kind of messy ignore for now but yeah, uh, what I was doing over here was actually I'm going to open up the Alithia figure and Phobos. I haven't messed around with these yet because I wanted to clear up some... Sp Before we take a look at the figures, like the nice thing about these, and it's similar to the other Krampuses if you had them before, or if you watched my Headless Horseman review, plugging it in right here, check it out. They got these magnets in here that help open and close these packages, which is really cool. So there's... There is this background piece, which is a pretty good cardboard itself. Pretty cool design. And then there's one inside as well. So pretty cool looking box. I like the red here that they put here because I guess I haven't seen the other Krampus, which I need to open, but 
That's pretty cool. I like it. Um, I do have another one here that I'm using specifically for building purposes for another, uh, for my Panther, I believe, or I might switch them out to the bull, but I just wanted to have one extra body. I heard that it doesn't match up too well, but we'll actually test that out right now. Bringing the light here just for better lighting purposes, but here you go. Here's Santa Claus. Here's the package here. I'm not going to do a separate review. I found out that, you know, those reviews don't do us too well, so I might as well just stick these in with these toy hunt videos. So here you go. This looks pretty good. Like that. And there's an extra Santa head in there, which I'm actually going to paint. I'm going to use that one, and there's an extra helm in there. But hard to see this display. You'll I'll show you guys later when the lighting is all set. But I got my pretty tight looking display here i like it i like a really busy dynamic thing going on so he really goes well with the moose the krampus he's sick i really like that figure like holy cow and i didn't expect all the stuff inside here uh, i'm not gonna spoil it for you unless you really want to know i mean i think it's everywhere else now so um i actually i might show it to you i'll leave some timestamps if you want to skip that part but you know, I think it's pretty cool what came in Santa's bag. But yeah, the Moose Adler, he goes really well with Santa. So I figured these would look great. I got these like, these little toy sacks from Dollar Tree. There was like three of them. So I actually got a lot of them. Uh, ignore these two. This is for like storage for now. But I plan to move everything out into like the bottom shelves. Once I get organized, once I wrap up this whole toy room thing for 2022, but kind of just messing around for now. You know, I'm taking my sweet time here in the toy room, but let's actually take these out of the detolve so we can actually get a better look at them. I got all the figures here. We're gonna take a look at the Krampus first because he looks really good. Man, look at that sculpt. Let's just take a, let's take a close look if we can. Look at that. Crazy looking, huh? So. Love the red body. Uh, I heard it's a little bit off from the Fury Orc. And actually, let me whip out the Fury Orc. Okay, so I got some lighting here. I brought it a little closer so you can see if there's any difference. And honestly, it's barely. Like, at a glance, I guess you can't tell. But I guess the, the Krampus is just a little bit darker. It's not like too crazy but you know as close to factory match as you can get but it'll do you know like if you have him standing in the background you're honestly not going to notice it you know you could probably just like look at it pretty close honestly like it, it looks just there's like little shades of darkness but you know you can't really tell in all honesty but you know maybe if you like switch the torso with this guy if you do some pop and swaps you may notice it but you know, it's actually not too bad. And yeah, I'm actually glad I grabbed uh, an extra one to open for popping and swapping over here. But yeah, looking good, Krampus. Comes with a lot of good stuff. Uh, what he got here. So let's just take a look down going up. If you had Mythic Legion figures, I mean, he's pretty standard, but the newest things really are the headpiece, which is just a crazy looking sculpt. And then, you know, you got his little, uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? Like, I don't know what that is in lore, but I can't really focus on it. But it's like a brush, stick and brush. But he's got these like jingling bells here, which, you know, they work. And it's really good at tricking your dogs thinking that there's another dog in the house. So that's that. Um, we also got, he has a little tail piece and there's actually instructions on it to not like break because <laughs> there's there's a there's a you can break that figure like apparently the tail is like real easily broken i haven't opened my other krampus so i can't really tell they call it the boom boom and then uh yeah there was like a rope piece right here which i need to tighten but yeah there's like skeleton pieces in there and i actually kept the rubber band here just to have that effect, because I saw someone on like a ball post that. I thought that was pretty cool. But let's open the bag real quick and I'm gonna show you what's in there. Okay, so here you go. You get two skeleton heads and a pair of hands, and I believe these are a 1.0 and a 2.0. Uh, 
Uh, I'll have to test that out. I believe the pegs are a little different for each, but uh, there's articulation in these, which is pretty awesome. So you get essentially just extra heads here. This one does not have articulation. I don't believe, no. Actually, hold on, let me see. Nope, it looks like there would be, but there isn't. But yeah, these go uh, inside here. They were uh, a surprise. You know, I think Four Horsemen throws in little surprises here and there. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's just gonna be the thing with these figure obscuras is they're going to throw little things in there that you know they're not gonna they're not gonna sh publicly publicly show. But uh, I will show the Santa Claus one again. You know, it is a spoiler for some, so the ones that don't want to know what's in there. I mean, by the time this comes out, this video comes out, I feel like if you didn't pick up your Santa Claus you know it's still in stock and the ones that really wanted to know it's been a week over a week already but people were just getting them on so timeline wise i ordered mine last saturday and it came in on wednesday but people on tuesday on the cabal were already posting it which i was like that is not cool i hate that like i pretty much got spoiled and you know just because you know it's the same week you know at least give it a week before I start posting pictures of what's in the bag but you know I caught it I caught a glimpse of like two of them because people don't know man people just sometimes think about themselves <laughs> it's it's just not cool but you know I mean it is what it is it's all good but uh, I will share what's actually in the bag momentarily but yeah this Santa Claus figure is awesome like I in never in a million years would have expected myself to really want a Santa Claus action figure like are you kidding me like that is that is like the last thing you think of but I absolutely adore this figure this is really cool so let's put these guys next to each other just for uh, for scale and also let's put him next to a fury orc you know I know there was a lot of mixed feelings about this Santa Claus I mean I guess it in a way it just turns people off because they wanted something more battle armor ready which i get it for such a like demon-esque line or whatever you know i get it i get i get santa isn't like really everyone's top priority but i mean i think it's the opposite i actually love this figure a ton i mean you know we're adult toy collectors like why not santa claus represents like everything we liked especially as a kid right so I think he fit in he fits in perfectly like I can even throw him in the mythic legions I really like I just love this figure he's isn't Santa Claus technically a wizard right he's technically a wizard he just brings toys <laughs> so that's my justification that's how I'm gonna look at it but in general uh, just looking at it I think for what four horsemen gave us this works really well so um, like obviously like let's take a look at his head so He's got a great sculpt, and I like the long beard on this. The details on this paint is just crazy. It looks like they did like a blue and then dry brushed it with like a white, but factory paint looks awesome. The cloth is just top tier, guys. Like, oh, this belt unclipped, but this cloth is like top tier. It's super like soft. I don't know what kind of material this is, um, but it feels high quality so this is a great looking like just action figure i know people wanted like a bigger guy hold on sorry about that i guess people wanted like a bigger like a jolly old man but i think this works like i think this absolutely works he looks like he's using uh parts i believe from samir so from the poxis wave so i guess that's around the time these were made and discussed so we are going to be getting crazy wizards soon. That was when I first put put a pre-order in. So yeah, it's gonna he's gonna look really awesome, guys. Honestly, I'm I'm like really excited about this. So he has a like a side accessory, a bag full of toys, which you can't move, but you can see that there's a good amount of stuff in here. We have candy cane, we got a lion, looks like there's a ball, yo-yo. Uh, we got a nutcracker and a bear and some drumsticks. And then we got this. Uh, drum set right here which actually cooks onto the belt and the belt you can take it out 
We also got this uh, toy here, which fits in his pocket. He actually has two pockets on each side, so you can actually put any of those toys in there. I put this uh, little elf doll in there. We also got, as far as accessories go, like what shows on top of the sack, we got a little dog here, a little husky, a little duck. We actually get two of these headpieces. So they're just, uh, you get two of them. <laughs> and you got a little trumpet as well. And also right here, this staff. Like, crazy cool. And it, I like how it's like cloudy. So you can't really see anything. But it's a cool looking staff. It's like a druid staff. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like, you know, he looks like a wizard. He is a wizard. I mean, Santa Claus, it's Santa Claus, right? So I know that's not up everyone's alley, but personally, I really like this figure and I really enjoy the Figura Obscura line. So that's my uh, two second review on it. So what I'm gonna do right now, <laughs> what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you guys what's in the actual like sack itself. So you guys can see what's in here. You can fit everything in here. And this was actually a pretty pleasant surprise. So once again, guys, if you don't wanna get spoiled, go ahead and click the chapter here. I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds and then I'm gonna show you guys what we got in here. Okay, hopefully you guys are not. This is your final warning. I'm going to show what's in the bag. What's in the bag? Okay, here we go. Ready? Boom. Okay, so this is what you get. And these were totally unexpected. So if you bought a couple of Santa Clauses, you're gonna get some extra helmets. So it looks like there's a running theme here that you're gonna get some extra helmets or head pieces with these figure obscuras. I don't think we got one with the headless horseman. We just got the head right there, but yeah, this is pretty cool. So I'm gonna throw this probably on the gladiator's body. I think that would look pretty sick, but yeah, these are cool. It's like a bigger version of the silver knight's helmet, which, I really like so that's cool that's that and let's just put like some figures here here next to uh, Santa for her scale some of the cooler figures here the newer ones that we picked up so we got the unknown one here hanging out with Santa we got Lord Bushati Krampus looking good but yeah guys Mythic Legions man I'm I'm all about it if you've been following me on Instagram you know I've been obsessed with it ever since I got back from Legions Con so yeah there you go guys Anyway, that's it for the toy review. Let's just keep going with the hunt. I guess I'll see you in the next stop. Okay, folks. All right, so it's after work. Pretty dark as heck outside. It's like 39 degrees, pretty uh, rainy today. But uh, yeah, that segment was pretty long. Hopefully you enjoyed hanging out with me in the toy room. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like stuff like that or just hanging out. But uh, yeah, you know, we're going to Kohl's right now. We're gonna go see if the orcs are available yet, the new minifigures for Lego. Uh, so we're gonna go test our luck there. It'd be awesome if they were, if not, not a big deal. But yeah, we do need to try to find like 30 of those guys. We're gonna be army building like freaking crazy. So I'm excited for that. Uh, we're also gonna go stop by Walmart as well. Um, I know that there are pallets of displays with like Marvel and Star Wars figures out. Um, I know JB ran into them recently, so shout out to JB Toy Trunk right over here. Awesome dude. Um, but yeah, let's go see if they got any. Uh, and you know, I just wanted to go stretch my legs. You know, it's after work. Not gonna do much hunting this weekend, so I uh, got a lot of stuff to do in the toy room. I got my lights coming in, so gonna be installing that off camera. But yeah, anyways guys, let's go over there. See ya. Okay guys, we're here back at Lincolnwood Mall, Kohl's. Uh, I also forgot that there's a freaking GameStop in here, so I think we'll just swing by real quick, see what the gun said. All right, be right back. look a little more packed do they have them yet I'm not seeing anything just yet but I am scanning okay so nothing here yet let me kind of take a look around um, I'm kind of just scanning it looks like a lot of the same stuff as last time so what I'll do is I'll walk around and I'll double check all right everybody 
Okay guys, nothing yet, but we're gonna keep hunting coals uh, for the next few weeks. But let's go to GameStop. Alright, 50% off clearance. Ooh, how much are you? Okay. 14 bucks. Optimus, what do we got here? Anything good worth grabbing? Armor, this would be a pretty cool pick for like nine bucks. It'd actually be pretty cool to like custom. Hmm, think about that. I'm gonna go look around. Oh, what is this? Glow in the dark. It's pretty sweet. We also got Arkham Bird Trooper. Oops, dropping paps. Sorry, Miles Davis. Tommy Pickles. More proxy. Got these guys, pretty cool. Okay, folks. Okay, so we left uh, Kohl's and we left GameStop. GameStop had some sale items. Everything was like 50% off if it's on clearance. Uh, decided not to pick up anything there because yeah, I just don't want to blindly pick things up right now. So trying to be intentional, that's important with the rules. I mean, everything was pretty tempting. I'm pretty sure I could have grabbed all those, like uh, those Fifth Brothers, not the Fifth Brothers, you know what I mean. Those figures right here, I could have picked these up for like 14 bucks a piece, but decided to pass on them. I'm sure I'll kick myself uh, in the head later for passing on them, but they were pretty good deals, but not for us for now. So uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go to Walmart and then we're gonna go to the toy aisle, see what they got in there. But yeah, I guess the uh, orc hunt is still on the way. So yeah, we're gonna have to just keep an eye out for that. So, bear back. Okay guys, here we go. Uh, Walmart in Lincolnwood, Illinois. Uh, I am looking for the shock trooper, I think, from uh, Obi-Wan, that's what I'm looking for. So if we can find one of those guys, they're pretty cool. But uh, I do have to grab a bunch of other stuff. But we, of course, we'll check the toy out. All right. Oh, my Lanta. Look at that. <laughs> Those are big costumes. Uh, I'm gonna go walk around. Clearance looks pretty packed. So we're gonna go to the toy aisle. Holy cow, look at this. Is there no way? There's no way this is $75. That's a $100 set. I'm gonna have to scan that. Uh, but they do have some random stuff here. Pretty cool. What do they got? Oh, they got Goku. Hey, Goku. Um, looks like some random little tiny stocking stuffers, if I had to guess. Um, just curious to see what's over here. Uh, that's cool. Holy cow, guys. Yeah, this is 75 bucks. That is $25 off. Wow, this is a $100 set considering 1,200 pieces. Wow. Okay, that's um. So maybe I actually might walk away with this today. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go on the other side. All right, guys. We're not seeing anything immediate, so we're gonna go walk around here. Start off here with the Jurassic World. Oh my God! Look at this little Optimus. I've never seen that before. That's actually kind of funny. But Jurassic World. Let's see. Buzz Lightyear. Got some GI Joes. Oops. Oh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Let that happen. Um, let's see what else we got here. Not many Marvel Legends. Okay. A lot of people missing their heads over there. And keep walking. Let's see. Not seeing anything else. Not seeing much. Let's slave one here. That's cool. Star Wars kind of empty. Oh, here we go. We got this guy. We got. General Grievous. Oh, it's a, it's a maybe. Hmm, interesting. So they did have at least like a restock of something. I don't have a Grievous. That'd be kind of cool pickup. Um, uh, got Yellow Ranger here. Let's see. This guy has been here for like months. Oof. Uh, you always gotta look up though. We got our boy Lando here. We got Nakia back there. 
Sorry if I was moving fast. There was a guy walking right by me. Oh, not seeing much else. You know, people are looking for Quake. Uh, what else? We got wrestling. That's wrestling here. Oh, snap. Here you go. This is cool. I haven't seen this guy yet. Like, this is part of that shipper. We got that one, and we got this guy who I don't have. So, they got some cool Beast Wars here. Wow, I actually just like the way this guy looks. So, we got some new stuff. We got Grievous over here. I wish they had more. I might have to, like, just kind of look around because you never know. Whoops. Hey. All right. Uh, let me pick this up. Okay, guys, NECA section, NECA Funko. Uh, we got Demona over here. That's pretty cool. We also have Bob Ross hanging out. We got some Gundam over here. I haven't seen that one yet. That looks pretty cool. We got Shaquille O'Neal. That's oh, a cool pop. God, we got the whole like cast of Obi-Wan over here. We got Freddie Mercury. Oh my god, guys, look at this. This is crazy. Look at that. Wow, kiss. That's a set right there. Holy Moses. But pretty cool. We also got National Lampoons. Christmas vacation, guys. Classic. Wow. Pretty cool. Alright, well, I am going to debate on this General Grievous over here. Hold on, let me show you. This right here, I'm gonna debate on this. It's pretty cool. I'm also gonna debate on the Lego sets. I'm gonna see what the wife thinks. But yeah, I mean, that's just an insane price over there. Yeah, I'm gonna see how much this costs. Uh, but yeah, anyway, you guys, I'll catch you in a bit. Ooh, okay, folks, uh, we're back in the car right now, and holy cow, what a freaking deal on that Lego Starship. Uh, I am not going to pick it up for now, at least. Uh, like I said, got to practice a little patience, even though that is a deal. That is a freaking deal. I think I would have picked it up for sure if it was 50 bucks because that would have been half off, which is something you really don't see with Lego nowadays. But 75 is definitely in the tempting area. And if I wasn't hunting for anything specific right now or like trying to be a little more conservative, um, wow. That guy went crazy. Uh, yeah, if I wasn't being a little more conservative right now, I think I would have grabbed it tonight. But, you know, I got a lot of Lego I need to build anyway, so there's no point in adding to the backlog. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, I also passed on that Grievous, too. So, d decided not to pick it up. You know, I don't want to pay 27 bucks for these figures. It's just not worth it for me. Especially when you see all these sale deals right now. Like, you know, it kind of puts things into perspective. And... I guess that's a good thing for the wallet, right? So we're gonna try to be smarter going into 2023. You know, we're gonna be a lot more intentional with our collection. It's kind of just crazy how our collections and styles evolve over time. So, you know, I'm at a good place with my collection right now because, you know, we built it over 2022, right? So it's been a good year. I'm really happy with, you know, what we have so far and where we're heading anyways. I know I said Walmart was our last stop, but I actually have some time to kill, so we're gonna go stop by Target real quick, so we'll make a pit stop there, and then we'll see what they got. But yeah, guys, I'll see you over there. All right, guys, so um, the reason why I am motivated right now is obviously I've been watching Marvel Ranger come back, so I'm a little pumped to see my guy, Vic. Welcome back, sir. But also, I get to exercise again. I get to run around and power walk. So let's go to the aisle. Okay, guys, we're gonna start here. Marvel section. Oh my gosh, look at all these good Marvel. Oh, oh we got She-Hulk. She looks good. You know, it's funny, guys. Um, around this time last year, or maybe a little bit later, um, I was looking for Symbiote Spider-Man, and it's my most popular video on my channel so and I remember thinking I'm like man I was just getting back to the Marvel Legends game is this are we coming full circle guys am I coming back I don't know TBD oh look at this finally finally see this guy this is the first time I'm seeing the man G.I. Joe great great figures man I am not a Joe collector but 
I uh, just saw a super rad. Yeah, I'm not a junk collector, but man, this is crazy to see. I also really like this monster right here from Power Rangers. That's really taunting. Ugh, I'm not a ranger collector. I'm not a G.I. Joe collector, but man, this guy just looks good. Like, he kind of, like, so coming from outside perspective, I don't collect Joes. I don't have the context background, but, you know, he kind of looks like just a rough edge dude. Like, it's a cool looking action figure, you know, not gonna lie. You got all the weapons, like, look at G.I. Joe, man. They come with all these accessories. Black Series, nothing. They come with nothing. G.I. Joes, they come with a lot. So, um, I'm just gonna take a peek here. I just, oh, I thought I saw Star Destroyer. I'm looking for Star Destroyer. I don't see it. But, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. I am like ADHD boy here. But, that's cool to see. I see a Spider-Man helm. We also get spend 50, get $10 off. But, this is cool stuff, guys. I'm, I'm really liking seeing some stuff here at Target. But, uh, let's go look at the other side. Okay, guys, NECA. Like a section, I feel like it's kind of the same stuff we've been seeing. So we got Frankenstein, we got Alien, lots of Alien stuff. Ninja Turtles. We got Batman over here, we got Shuri. We got the Zeus. And yeah, so, okay guys, funny enough, I'm very interested in this guy even though I know nothing about him I think this just looks like a good action figure there are a couple of them here and these are just 22 bucks which is you know such a good deal on these so oh, man I'm on the fence I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch some reviews I don't really want to get into GI Joe's but I think he just looks pretty awesome you know as a good looking action figure so Oh, maybe let me know what you guys think about these guys in the comments so dang guys dang i i was this close to picking up a gi joe i was this close to picking up a joe guys so i mean so on the plus side like let me tell you this let me tell you my thoughts on joe's so i used to play with like the three and three quarter versions when i was a kid i didn't have any i think i had like one or two figures but my cousin, he had like the base and everything. And I always thought it was pretty cool. But you know, it, there's no, there's no like past context for me. And that's like the whole thing with toys, you know, in my collection. And honestly, it kind of feels like it would be out of place, even though it is like a pretty awesome like figure. So, I mean, I don't know, I'll think about it. I know that, you know, Hasbro, they actually, their team does a better job for like Haslabs. They actually get funded, the prices are reasonable, and it just seems like they're not tied down to like a Disney like license, you know? So like I feel like that's the advantage, you know, of getting into Joe's is you know the prices are like really fair and that's what just you know blows me away. And you know, like I don't know. But that's just me talking, thinking out loud. Let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of you guys collect Joe's. So I mean, anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, all right, so if you've made it this far into the video, I gotta just say thank you, number one. I know this video was really freaking long, and I think I'll do this here or there, I don't know. But 2023, I'm gonna be focusing more on different types of videos, you know, for my channel. So, but yeah, that's that. Um, but anyways, guys, I thought I was gonna just be uh, waiting to release this video, like, later this month. Uh, December because I wanted to include everything kind of wrap this up with a whole bang but it's all good we're just gonna keep continuing making videos throughout the rest of the year because I do want to find the orcs so I'm still on the hunt for that I'm not gonna be picking up a GI Joe at least for now but I do want to show you something guys and we will wrap this video up but guys the lights finally came in so what I will do is I'm gonna install this and then I'm gonna show you guys how the details look and then yeah I guess we'll wrap this video up I'm actually editing this video right now guys but here we go guys so progress of the shelf got two more left these are actually pretty easy to install took a little bit of thinking but if you're curious as to which ones I bought these are the C Frank I got these on Amazon 
and then I got the uh, coal white. So they do have different colors available, but I went with the coal white. These ended up being like $39 a piece. So we got that. And then, yeah, I got some more work to do. And then after, I'm actually gonna go run to Home Depot, do some installation uh, for some diodes in the back because I wanna have, I don't wanna see the white walls. I wanna see some background. But yeah, I'm gonna, but yeah, I'm gonna get right back at it and finish this up. All right, folks. Okay, so the lights are officially installed. I really like this. So it's a work in progress. Just filled some stuff up for now. There is a lot of space for expansion here. Um, it's not finalized. I just wanted to put some figures where, you know, I wanted them to go. But this is how it looks. It gives me uh, aquarium vibes, which is how my wife phrased it. And that is exactly what it is. So let me turn off the lights real quick. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, look how cool that is. <laughs> so uh, what I'm actually gonna be doing now is I'm actually gonna go run to Home Depot. I'm gonna go get a better cord for this. Uh, I'm also going to figure out a whole wire situation because on top, uh, I just shoved all the cords in the back for now, but I don't want to do that I want to make sure it is cleaned up and easy to access the stuff to turn on and off the lights So it's just a manual thing for now, which ends up working, you know, so I like that But anyways guys, I'm really happy the way this turned out. So this is pretty cool making a lot of progress I'm gonna do a lot of cleaning of this and sorting this toy room out off camera. I do want to install some like RGB lights here so we'll get a lot more color going. I still got to put artwork up here and then we'll be doing a grand tour once I'm all set. But you know guys, I think that is going to be it for this hunt video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought but guys, thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Catch you guys next time. Peace.